Richard Teichman once said that chess is 99% tactics. If you can't trust a bearded, eyepatch-wearing chess-playing master, who can you trust? Now, this is an exaggeration, but it is also true that chess tactics are vital at all levels of the game. Additionally, at the beginning and intermediate levels, chess tactics decide who win most games. In this video, we are going to show you all of the features in chess.com slash puzzles and how you can use them to quickly improve your chess game. We are constantly working to provide the best, most satisfying, and most fun chess puzzles online and the features that you need to practice and learn. Our first mode here is our classic puzzles mode. In this mode, we can solve rated chess puzzles. This is one of the best ways to practice because all of the puzzles we solve will be targeted toward our specific level and will produce a good challenge. As I record this today, we have more than 200,000 puzzles in our database and we are adding hundreds more every single day. We work really hard to make sure that the puzzles are not just accurate, they are also satisfying and instructive. Now, in this case, it's white to move and it looks very strong to capture this pawn over here. I do know that the rook is hanging, but the idea of promoting this pawn is the most important idea. And now I think I can force the pawn through by bringing this rook up and then queening on the next turn. It turns out that this is the correct solution and now I get some feedback. I can see I gained five rating points. I could have gained even more rating points if I had solved this puzzle more quickly, but I will always get at least five rating points. I also see my performance on past puzzles. This is useful to be able to see the previous puzzle so that I can try to build up a streak and focus on accuracy. I can also see this puzzle's rating, target time, speed bonus, pass rate, and other information. At the bottom, I can also see comments from other members who tried to solve this puzzle. I can download the puzzle, or I can click share to get an image, to get the PGN, or a link if I want to use that to pass it on to friends or other people who might want to try the puzzle. Now, let's move on again, and in this case, once again with white to move, let's say we're a little less sharp. Now in this case, let's try just slowly to invade with the queen. Turns out that this isn't correct. Now I see that I've lost 12 rating points for an incorrect answer on this puzzle, but I also have some other options. I could retry the puzzle, I could show the solution to the puzzle, or I could open the puzzle in analysis. This is one of the most useful functions. If you get a puzzle right or wrong, but you want to see more about it, you can open it in analysis to interactively try different moves against the computer. In this case, the correct move turns out to be rook takes e8, and after the king captures, this check is really strong because we are winning this rook on the next turn. Now that's still not enough to win the game, but it is absolutely the best option that is available to us. So closing this here, I want to show one other thing in this mode. In this and other modes, we often have some settings we can customize. In this case, we can turn off the timer if perhaps it's stressing us out as we are trying to solve puzzles. And we can also choose if we want to automatically go on to the next puzzle or if we want to stay on it after every solving attempt. Our next mode has been an absolute sensation, Puzzle Rush. Now in Puzzle Rush, we have three different modes, but they all share the same basic idea. You are trying to solve as many puzzles as you can before you get three strikes, missing three puzzles, or before time is up. You have three minute mode, five minute mode, or survival mode, which has actually become the most popular mode. In this mode, there actually is no timer and you can spend as much time as you want trying to grind for a high score. Now, in Puzzle Rush, we do have leaderboards and you can see who is ahead on the global leaderboard, among your friends, or on your personal leaderboard. You can also view past rushes. Backing up to play, I'm going to fire up a three minute Puzzle Rush and I'll see you on the other side. All right, 31. That's not too bad. 
For me, that's actually a pretty good score. Obviously, any number of puzzles is a pretty good achievement when you're bashing them together in a short period of time, like three minutes. We can see our personal records here, how many we've solved today, this week, all time, and how we stack up against that, what our longest streak was, and so forth. The main thing I really wanna show is that over here in the sidebar, we can see all the puzzles that we solved, we see that we've gone from a puzzle rating of 174. So they start off relatively easy with a lot of checkmates in one, nothing too difficult, and they get up to be fairly challenging at the end, especially if you're doing something like survival mode. In this case, we also see that I missed two puzzles here. I didn't strike out, I actually ran out of time. And we can look at those and we can see the correct solution. So we're gonna open up one here. We see that it was black to move. And in this case, after we click the show solution button here, um, we see that after the knight captures, I took the knight and I actually had mate in one. Not too difficult, but you know, when you're solving as quickly as you can, you often just kind of lash out with a move and it's not the right one. The other one here at the 1400 level was a little bit more difficult, but I think basically the same thing was going on. In this case, I'm not gonna click show solution. Instead, I'm going to try play problem. And I captured here and I started pushing this pawn and I should have captured here instead of just continuing to push. And after the trade, I can push my way through and this is the way to win. Also note again, this analysis option right here in this screen and in other screens, I can use that to get a look with the computer, trying out different ideas and really getting the best possible feedback. Instead of just clicking show solution, I can actually try moves on the board and see what the computer engine has to say. Let's say that you love Puzzle Rush, but what it's really missing for you is the ability to compete directly against an opponent. For that, we have Puzzle Battle. In Puzzle Battle, you'll be playing three minute rushes against an opponent. If you click the big green play button, we will pair you against an opponent who matches your skills as best as possible. Alternatively, you can click the drop down here to challenge your friends very easily, or you can type in any username here to challenge any member on the site. Also, if you want, you can click watch and instead of doing a puzzle battle yourself, you can watch other talented battlers go head to head. You can see both players board in front of you and you can try to solve along with them. You also have the option to click top battle here in the upper right and when this battle is over, it will automatically load the next top battle. I'm going to close this over here and we are going to try a puzzle battle and I'll see you again on the other side. That was a competitive one. But ultimately, we did outlast our opponent. We got 28 and they did a great job with 21 right here. We can see in the modal that we did win this puzzle battle. We also gained some season points. We gained some rating right here. And the main thing I wanted to show is that over here on the right, we can see the puzzles that we've attempted, that they've attempted, and the ones that we both missed. Just as in the other modes, I can hover over the puzzles here and get a preview and I can click them to pop up that puzzle so we can see the puzzles that we've missed. So in this position here, I want to open up this puzzle and I want to look at it in analysis mode. Again, I could replay the problem, I could show the solution, or I could click that analysis mode, which is what I want to show. So in analysis mode right here, the winning move is rook takes h2 check. A very nice rook sacrifice the king should take. And now we can come over here with rook h8 check. Notice that the bishop has the square here on g1. And after the king moves over, we have queen to h3 and check mate. Every single day, we provide a new puzzle in the daily puzzle section. They load at midnight Pacific time and they escalate in difficulty throughout the week. Sunday is the easiest day and by Saturday, we really have a true head scratcher. Every puzzle sees thousands of players attempted and hundreds of comments. 
the custom puzzle mode is truly one of the best and most underutilized training features on chess.com. In the custom puzzle mode, I can choose exactly the right puzzles for me or for a student or for a classroom. I can select all puzzle types. I can choose just puzzles that I've missed previously and want to try again. I can pick any rating range, whether it's one that's right for me, right for a student, right for a classroom, or is one maybe that's a little easy for me if I want to work on speed and not difficulty. I can also choose all themes one specific theme, or if I hold down control, I can pick multiple themes that I want to work on. The custom puzzle mode is also unrated, so it's a great way to practice lots of puzzles without having to worry about your puzzle rating. If you ever want a clean slate, you can reset your puzzle history in your settings, and you can also reset your puzzle rush history. Also note that everything I have shown is shown on the web, but it is also available on the apps. Both iOS and Android have rated puzzles, have custom puzzles, have the daily puzzle, puzzle battle, and have puzzle rush. Currently on chess.com, with a free membership, you get access to the daily puzzle, up to three puzzles per day in the rated or custom unrated modes, and one puzzle rush or puzzle battle. To get more puzzles, you can always upgrade to a gold, platinum, or diamond membership, as you see right here, for as little as $2.42 per month. And of course, those memberships include a host of other benefits. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that it has helped you understand all of the features available at chess.com slash puzzles and how you can use them to improve your chess. Thanks also to all of those who have given us great feedback on puzzles and helped us make them as good as possible.